are you looking to make your next fish dish taste twice as nice? Well, Chef Karima has just the recipe for you. It's Escovich Snapper, and it's a great option with Easter this weekend for those who eat fish on Good Friday or folks who eat fish every Friday, which we usually do in our home. Right. So glad to have you back in studio. It's nice to have you back here. Right. Thank All you. All gloved up and ready to, yes, go ready to go with a beautiful recipe. So maybe you can just start by explaining what Escovitch fish is. Okay, so Escovitch fish came from the Spaniards, so Mediterranean Europe, yeah. brought it over to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So Escovitch, they called it Escoviche. Yes. And it's just pickled uh, vegetables yeah. that tra uh, traditionally goes into Jamaican fried snapper. So it would be, for folks who've never had it, you could compare it to ceviche. Right. Ceviche will be the raw version. Right. The escovitch is the cooked version. Cooked version, hot version, yes. And any kind of fish, any right? Any kind of fish, but traditionally, Jamaicans use snapper. Right. But you can have it with kingfish as well. Mm -hmm. And anything. I tried it with a, uh, with a salmon. Nice. And it tastes really good with a salmon, too. Okay, good. Yeah, I right. love that. This is a really good option. And, of course, a lot of these ingredients and the salt and the vegetables and the vinegar, it all dates back to us not having refrigeration. Exactly. Our food had to last. Exactly. Right? Right. Okay, so we're going to make this. Well, she's going to make it. <laughs> I will help. But I'm going to show everyone at home what they need to make this recipe. And you're going to need fish seasoning, whole red snapper, lemon juice, a scotch bonnet pepper, green seasoning, and all-purpose seasoning. So let's get started. All right. So in here, I have a whole snapper, yep. a fillet of snapper in a kingfish, just to give it some options. Some variety. But we're going to fry a snapper fillet, just nice. so it can go, go a little quicker, right? Okay. So while the oil is heating, I'm going to put the scotch bonnet pepper in there. The whole thing. The whole thing, just so the oil and the pepper can have like a little... Dance. Marriage and yeah. Dance and just, you know. They're just going to date. Right, exactly. They're going to flirt a little. <laughs> right, exactly. The lemon juice really was to wash and clean the fish, right. right? So we also add vinegar and salt. Yep. Wash it off a few times, pat it dry, and then we're going to hit it with the seasonings. Okay, you tell me what to put in, All Chef. Right. So this is the green seasoning. Mm -hmm. right. And does this just come ready to go, or did you make it? I made it. Of course you I did. Like <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Some of black course. pepper. Mm -hmm. This is seafood seasoning. Okay. And then we have a little bit of the all-purpose. Nice. Right? So it smells good already. <laughs> so following the the recipe, right? You yeah. want to get everything in there and right. you want to get it all in the slits, right? And just rub it and you're gonna marinate it for about four hours okay. or twenty-four hours. It with fish, you could really have it marinated for only twenty minutes. Yeah. But you know, you want it to get this nice, deep taste. Flavor. So four hours yeah. or, or overnight. I don't know if you could smell the pepper already. <laughs> it, just yes. went, it just went in my it, throat. You took a nice big uh, <laughs> gulp of it, huh? So this is, it's interesting, though, just even the way you did that. Because if anyone's doing a fish fry at home, like, you have to put it so gently in the oil exactly. so it's not, like, bubbling up in your face. Because even though we pat it dry, yes. it still has moisture. Yeah. And if you put it in right away, it's just... <sighs> Exactly. And then the fire, and then, you know, and it's, then, a whole, it's a whole thing. it's over. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's over. It's a whole thing. Okay. So while that's cooking or frying, yes. we can talk about the ingredients for the escovitch. The escovitch. So the, the vegetables. Yeah, yeah, what do you include uh, in it? Okay, so we have it the vinegar. familiar to me. <laughs> so we have the vinegar. Yes. We have carrots. We have some thyme. Okay. We have the onions, right? Yeah. And we have peppers. Yeah. And then, of course, we have to have the scotch bonnet. Yes. Again, and some sugar. So I wanted to talk to you about the pimento peppers as yeah. well, right? Okay. So with the pimento peppers that Jamaicans use, mm -hmm. it's also called an all-spice. Whoops, one yep. thing. But we, in Trinidad, we have pimento pepper as well. Okay. But this one is more, a less spicier version to a scotch bonnet. Yeah. But it has that flavor. So if you're afraid of too much spice, you can use the pimento Go pepper. Go the Trini route. And, and also the, the allspice version. Okay. Right? All right. So I'm going to see if I can flip this and then... Uh, it doesn't take that long to, to fry up no, the not with a No, not, not with a fillet. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to add the <clears throat> that pepper boy. <laughs> That's why I'm over here, <laughs> chef. Because I know how that licks. Whee! Like once, it, once you get it in the in the in your air passage, right? but you're doing very well. I th thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're gonna add the onions, uh huh, the carrots and the thyme. Yep. Right. Lovely. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the scotch bonnet. Yeah, I was wondering, is she putting that whole oh, thing gosh, in no. there? Oh gosh, no. Not even. I like pepper. I don't like it that much. Yeah. 
You want to be able to actually taste the food exactly. and not just have a scalded throat? No, I like taste. I, yeah, I love taste. And then you're going to add the vinegar. And um, you're going to let this cook to a boil yep. for about 10, 15 minutes or until it gets to a harsh boil. Yep. And then put it down on medium, let it cook for a few minutes. Okay. Take it off the stove, let it simmer. And then you can just put it on your put fish it on when fish. it's ready. And eat it. And, and you're ready to it, go. Ready to go. So you have a couple of examples. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. so and I'm going to get that for you. The oven. So we have oh, a whole snapper. We're, let's talk about the sides because you have right. a lot of great ideas for sides. Right. So with the sides, mm. this one I did a plantain, a green banana. I keep saying plantain. Mm -hmm. A green banana and yam mash with mm -hmm. fried plantain. And this one is actually the salmon, salmon right? Yes. Um, so you could also have it with rice, rice mm -hmm. and peas. Um, if you don't want to do white rice, you could do basmati. Yeah. Any dumpling, festival, fried bake. Yes. Boiled dumpling. You can eat it with crackers or you can eat it by itself. I love it. Yeah. Just list all the carbs there, uh, Chef Karima. <laughs> You can do it with this. You can do you it with that. Exactly, you can do it with this. Exactly. I love it. Okay, so I haven't never uh, done this with salmon, but I'm going right, to try it. And this is how it looks at the end. Mm-hmm. God, that's that. good. That's right. so good, Chef. It tastes good with the salmon, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you want something lighter, too, mm -hmm. go with the salmon. Beautiful. I love that. Okay, very delicious. Uh, you really need to try this. And, of course, find the recipe at CityLine.net.